Hey, what is going on guys? This is Anthony. Welcome to account reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our first account. So what we have today is four different account reviews. And I'm basically you guys already know the drill here. I don't really look at these accounts before um, I just basically go to them. And I get my initial thoughts, I get my initial advice, what you guys can improve on what you're doing good, what you're doing bad, all that stuff, try to squeeze as much uh, valuable tips and information as I can together in the shortest amount of time that I can so that this doesn't turn into an hour long video um, so it, oh by the way if any of you guys want me to go ahead and, and go like if you want to skip this and if you just want to go ahead and have me go over your profile with you for an hour and completely rip it apart and talk uh, you know strategy back and strategy for monetization growth strategy learn exactly how to do it uh, I do offer consulting you guys can email me support at viralvenom.com and uh, we can set you up with a consulting call um, it costs money by the way I, I don't talk on the phone for free so I know some of you guys might dislike the video for that but you know things cost money um, anyways guys so first account we have up is Lux travel ventures so we see here going through its story post this is good I'm just gonna go through your stories man I just want to see kind of what you're posting New post, please go give a like. Okay, so shouting out the new post, perfect. By the way, guys, I know I say man a lot, so I'm sorry if you guys are females or whatever. It's just, it's a habit, I guess. <laughs> I just say man, bro. That's just kind of my, that's the Anthony thing. Um, okay, cool, so let's go through some of this content. How many views is it getting? 73 views, 94 views, 131 likes, 17 likes. What's this video like? I wish Instagram had it where I could pick different parts of the video. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about here. You have, um, for so for videos, you can pick a thumbnail, right? So I would have made, if we go ahead and watch this video, what would I put the thumbnail as? Boom, right there, right? Something like that. That looks like she's diving off a cliff from who knows how high. That is clickbait, that will get clicks. This. It's just kind of like it's just kind of there and it's blurry right the video is already a little bit blurry so you kind of want to get it where it's going to be the most effective and doesn't really look like it's blurry so right when she's jumping off right here boom that's the cover photo you should have that would have gotten a ton more views um and i'm sure we could probably equate this to almost every single video i mean if you don't do it on that one you know most of the time it's every single one um that people don't do it on but that's like one of the biggest tips i can give you is go through the actual video and see like what is the height of the video what is the climax and that needs to be the cover photo you know what i mean like for example this one i mean there's not really too much you can do but on this one she's just standing up i would have made the thumbnail right there that's where i would have made the thumbnail right there so it's like you know it's just like it looks like she's about to break her back into the water you know you have no clue what she's really going to do plus you get the view in the back um and overall it just looks a lot better this right here will probably never go viral because it's just water you know so the water's gonna get clicks but it needs something a little more to it you know see like something with the bird if the bird was over the water it would do a little bit better but this isn't clickbait enough so content is your biggest thing and then it looks like you have some pretty good like this is good right when the cover's getting pulled off of a lambo that's really good that's a good uh cover photo for it but video content the covers are everything like you cannot go viral unless you have good content with the right cover it just won't happen um so that's why i'm just kind of spending so much time on that a little more time than i'd like to um so get those covers right get the climax of each and every single video um and you're only getting like 94 131 likes so i'm going to assume you're not using very many dm groups um so get into more dm groups so you can actually push this content because all this content is vi is viral right except for a few pieces all this is very very viral content um just select the covers right and then get a ton of engagement very very quickly from very big accounts and this content is simply going to be pushed just like how everything else goes viral on instagram so other than that it's looking pretty good but the other thing is you just look like a standard travel uh, uh travel and luxury page so i would spice this up a little bit i would do some pin stories maybe add a little bit more of creativity to the bio for example you have luxury travel adventure right here and then the next three lines are luxury travel adventure there's really no reason to repeat it it's kind of repetitive right so don't repeat things kind of either take it out or you know fix it up or whatever but other than that pretty good account man not just work on getting into dm groups work on getting very large dm groups and uh make Make sure you're always picking the best thumbnail you can for your um for your videos so now we're going to move on here to the next account let's see this one this is nutmeg fc okay so we're on a soccer page soccer is what we call it in the u.s football for <laughs> i like okay so he's got every single one let's go through the stories here 
Oh, Belgium. I'm not even in. Who here is into the World Cup? I, I played soccer back in the day, like when I was a kid. I, I really liked soccer. Like, I was super into it, but I don't watch it. Believe it or not, I don't watch any sports. Like, I played a lot of football, but I don't watch football. I'm the type of person I play a lot of sports, but I just cannot get through watching them. But let me guys know, are you guys Belgium or England? Partici participate in this poll uh, right there in the comments section. I want to know who you guys have or who's playing now. I don't even know who's playing now. Um, but this is really good. This page, um, you should definitely be getting a lot of followers on it since it's the World Cup and since soccer's trending. Um, right now, it's probably where you can get the most uh, growth on a page like this just because it's a trending topic right now, right? There's no better time to, it's it's like that. there's no better time to, do, uh, you know, start an e-com store than Black Friday. You know, it's just certain things like that. There's no better time to start a, you know, NFL page than when the Super Bowl is going on because stuff just trends. Um, so this is a fairly new account. Um, so we need to get more content on this page. Like obviously you, you probably haven't done enough testing on this. Um, I'm seeing here that these videos are watermarked. If these aren't your videos, I assume they're not. Make sure you're really careful. Make sure you have this guy's permission to be reposting his watermarked content or you can get into a lot of trouble for that. So make sure you have his permission on that. Um, and I'll be posting more like more viral. Like this stuff, it doesn't really look viral. Like I wouldn't, this is more viral right here, but this stuff is, uh, you know, make sure you're getting actual viral content. And maybe this is, okay, this one did 18.1K views. So that's pretty good. So you need to keep recreating stuff like this. 18.1K, 53, 37. See, so take a look at what content did well for you. Why did that content do well? So this piece of post went viral. What did you do on this post that you didn't do on the rest? Because this is your only good post so far. So there's a reason what this did really take a, a while to analyze this post. Go deep into it. Go deep into the analytics. Study it. Why did this go viral? And how come nothing else did? Once you find out what you did different or why that went viral, you need to apply that to every single future post you're making so you can start to get results like that. And then as that goes and as that builds, you know, you get more and more uh, basically you learn new things, right? Your knowledge expands. You start learning things. You start learning what to do, what not to do. Um, and you can start to recreate viral posts over and over and over and over. And that's really the trick is like just learning it and getting, um, a feel for it and compound and compound and compound. Um, other than that, this page looks pretty good. Um, uh, maybe add a few more pin stories. I would add like, maybe do like some soccer tricks. You know, everybody loves people who are doing soccer tricks. So some stuff like that. I'm gonna say you're doing some your content using your own hashtags. So that's really cool. Um, overall, this is a really cool page. I think, you know, just like I say on almost anybody who's trying to grow a viral page, DM groups, a lot of engagement, all that type of stuff. And other than that, man, this page is looking pretty nice. It looks like it has a lot of potential. Um, and yeah, keep go, keep going with it and apply those tips. So now let's go on to the next one. Actors. By the way, guys, if you guys enjoy these account review videos, if you guys take a lot of value out of them, let me know in the comments and I'll continue making them. For those of you guys who want to know how to go ahead and get your account reviewed, um, you do that by joining my Facebook group. And in my Facebook group, I make posts where you can actually submit your accounts to be reviewed. If you just leave a comment on this video with your account handle, I just delete it because that's, that's not how we do it. I only review people's accounts who are actively engaged in the community. I don't review just anybody. I only review people who are uh, supportive in the Facebook group and have, help other people out and uh, who are active um so here we go actors not ink so actors actresses movies everything about actors okay this is pretty cool i haven't seen many pages like this i'm sure there's a lot of them but i've never really been in this niche before i've actually never even really thought of this niche po reposting actors i mean that's pretty smart though i guess it's like um, musician or artist fan pages except you're just reposting actors instead okay actors dot ink so, I mean, I can see the clickbaity. It's mainly just female actors. So, posting, reposting famous female actors. Um, so, so listen, when was this posted? Five hours ago, one comment, 12 comments, 16, 31, 26. I would really be trying to get a lot more comments on this page. Um, let's see how you're structuring your bios. Yeah, that's why. So, your bios are so plain. So, this. Th you need to like this when i come to this page it has no community to me i, I don't i don't really feel like i'm part of anything i just kind of see like hey you repost actors and actresses and that's it but i have no community involvement so like to make this page better 
get some pin stories on of like you know your top 10 favorite actors do a poll where people can vote you know what actor they like best you like side by side actors and the polls uh you know you have the yes on one and the no on the other and they can vote for which actor they like more or which actress they like more or which movie they like more um i think if you're having trouble with the actresses or an actors definitely lean towards the movies because people do get very emotionally attached to movies and that's a way how you can really build a sense of community um when people are vibing with all the same movies that you vibe with um you're left with a pretty decent you know community um on top of that your bios are very poorly put together like it's the bare minimum right so you basically tag the actor then you say to follow yourself and that's it and that's basically the same thing over and over and over you either tag the actor it's the actor's name that's a quote but um so you need to like put together a sense of community so when you repost an actor i would be giving some history about them like what's the biggest movie they played in um you know why should people care about them you know it's a little something back story about that like quick facts something like that and, and it's so easy to do that stuff you can go on google type it in and get a wikipedia answer real quick for it so get some quick facts um put a little more effort into it because i'm sure people are going to see actors that they never know and it, the thing is if they don't know them they're probably not going to like the picture because they don't know them right but if you give them quick facts and you kind of make them feel like you know them then you can go ahead then you can get more comments by telling your viewers to go ahead and say like have you ever heard of this actor um do you know any other facts about this act and you have people pitching in giving information talking about movies and stuff like that so you want to spark conversations what you really want to do and that is one of the easiest ways to do it um other than that i don't think dm groups or power i mean i'm sure dm groups and power likes will probably help you out a little bit on this page but this seems more of like a, a shout out page this seems like something where you need to go ahead and pay for promotions and stuff like that and then i would monetize this through getting up and coming actors and actresses and stuff like that to go ahead and pay to have a post on this that and i'm sure if you get this page big enough you can probably have movies go ahead and uh you know movies that are coming out they could pay you for a movie promo but other than that i mean it seems like you got a really good idea going on um and i would just keep up with it and just uh take those tips and, and run with it um so now let's go ahead and move on to the next one so we do we're, we've done three so far so this is going to be the last one the chant chick so let's go to this one it's always interesting like i never know what's gonna pop up when i do it so i'm always like a little bit uh like oh i know what am i gonna what am i gonna see today okay like the content all right let's start at the top i have a bad habit of just like scrolling all the way down like just completely missing so we got the chan chick channing baker blogger the university of texas fashion student okay cool cool so we got new york city q a outfits blog shop perfect i like the way this is set up i like that you have all these little um i guess you could say images over the pin story yeah the image that you put over it i'm gonna pop through your story here quick shout outs to you Live, we can bio. Okay, my Nordstrom cool. anniversary sale post just went live on the Chan Sheep. Um, I made all the images shoppable. So let's say you like this skirt, you can click on it. doesn't matter if you're viewing the blog post. Also, perfect. This is really good. I like that you really went ahead on that video and held their hand and showed them exactly how they can shop, like showing them, hey, you can click this and shop um that makes it that's one of the best things you can do um when you're i don't know if that's affiliate marketing or if that's your own store but when you're doing that on your own account and it's like personal and branded to you it's so much easier to make sales because just people buy from people right when it's you on there and you're showing hey this is how you do this and you're basically hand holding them um it works really good and then the fact that then you flip the camera and then you get it on your face and you're talking about it a little bit more that is perfect um so i definitely dig that um for monetizing um in that type of strategy and building that relationship you're doing really, really Really good on that end um your content looks really good as well i'm just gonna go ahead and just pop in here and just kind of feel it out feel the so we got like 450 240 33 this must have just been posted yeah, 10 minutes ago i'll like this for you you're welcome <laughs> so that's 530 460 so you have you have you know what you have really good engagement for the following that you have you have really good engagement i would say um definitely above the standard which is like probably five percent for like a page like this um this picture's not as good see i'm just not a fan of landscape pictures on instagram i would do i would do as little uh landscape pictures as you can on instagram um 
just because basically when someone's scrolling through the feed and they see a landscape it most people scroll through instagram literally scrolling scrolling very fast so when you have a landscape picture since it's not taking up as much of their phone as a portrait it's much easier than for for them to be scrolling through and completely skip it and not even know they skipped it and then it's so small they won't even really go back to it whereas too, if you can get the biggest size portrait photo that you can those always perform better always like this will always outperform this because it's just it's just what Instagram is meant for it's, Instagram is just meant for those vertical pictures those vertical videos um, but other than that you're doing a really good job with content I would like what I would say what you need to do now is you need to just go ahead and, and start investing into actually growing the account because your content set up right your pin stories are set up right you're comfortable on the camera because you're going ahead and you're getting on the stories you're showing your face you're doing everything right and now what it comes down to is just actually growing and getting your name out there so there's two things you can do right you can do follow and follow obviously and you can grow and you can grow very slow you can grow you know a couple thousand followers per month and you'll never really get what you want out of it right follow and follow you'll grow but you're not i know you're not going to get the results you're striving for right if you're putting this much energy into content and your brand and all that stuff like i know you want to grow more than a few thousand followers per month right of course you want to be growing as as much as you can um and really what that comes down to is it's going to be influencers so what you need to do is go in the back end analytics of this account um i think your business account but if you're a business account make sure go into the back end analytics and like write down everything that you find about your follower who is your ideal follower um you know what is their age what is their demographic what times a day are they on instagram you can find all this stuff in, the, in your back end section and once you have all that information you want to find other influencers that have that basically as much as the same matching information as you about the same age range about the same interests about the same uh, genders right because if you have a more female audience you don't want to go to an influencer that has a more male audience because if you have more females following you there's probably a reason as to why it might just be that females are vibing with your content more so always listen to everything at all the data Instagram gives to you you have to listen to and then what you have to do is you have to find an influencer that has those same stats with the same interests, and the interest is very very important they must have the same interests as you and then you're just gonna basically pay them for promotion Promotions. and that's all that it's really going to come down to and then there's like you know other little strategies you can do to squeeze more out of that you could be doing like a little giveaway to make sure they come and follow you and get more out of it or something that's like a little bit um obviously clickbait always works the best like people hate clickbait listen clickbait works there's a reason why it works there's a reason why it gets views there's a reason why everybody does it okay those pages that you see just blow up overnight they're using some form of clickbait um and it doesn't have to be like like lying clickbait like click people have this weird uh image of what clickbait is the worst type of clickbait is when you're basically showing something or you're titling something and it has nothing to do with what it is like originally like clickbait to me was like when you click on a youtube video and the thumbnail is like something that is completely not even in the video like that is og clickbait now you know clickbait it, it has this kind of tarnished name you know so you can you can get away with stuff like that um and i would just basically be going to those influencers and plugging this your content and plugging your promotions to as many of them as you can and it's basically just going to come down to like you know you, you you see what your results are per influencer you find an influencer that works and you see how many followers you're getting and you kind of have your you know all your numbers set where let's where it's like okay well when i spend a hundred dollars into influencers i get x amount of followers and then you kind of do the math of like you know how many followers do you need to really start landing brand deals or monetizing the way you want to and eventually the the thing is is that you're you're spend you're making more off your instagram than you are spending on influencers now first it's not gonna happen at first you're gonna be basically investing everything but you will get to a point if you're monetizing everything correctly where you are basically making more money than you are spending on instagram and it truly is an investment and then and that just sustain itself and it compounds and it compounds and it goes and goes and goes but that's really what you want to go ahead and do um influ uh, influencer marketing for personal brands is the way to go for personal brands that like you can do a little bit of dm groups on personal brands it'll help to get your content out there but whenever you're trying to go ahead and uh, grow a personal brand it's all about going ahead and, and getting yourself out there um if you guys need for any of you personal brands out there if you guys need like massive distribution across the network that is something that i do you guys can go ahead and, and shoot me an email it, it is uh, uh you know it's up there like you need the budget for it basically if you have the budget we can do it at this point like things just come down to um you know how much can you invest because you have influencers to pay off and that's basically the two options you have you can hire someone like me to go ahead and do it for you and we'll set up all your ad campaigns and we'll set up everything you need to go ahead and uh you know promote yourself or you can just reach out to the influencers yourself 
yourself. But then at that point, you need to come up with a creative strategy. You need to come up with um, all the back end stuff. You need to come up with the ad sets and you need to find the right influencers. So it's kind of like you're, you're either paying for it or you're getting out a little bit cheaper, but you're doing all the back end work. Either way, it works. It's just whatever you want to do. Um, but that's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this account reviews video. I think we had a nice little mix of accounts. We had some personal brands. We had some luxury pages. We had a page we never seen before. We had actors. So I hope you got, well, I know you guys take value out of this. You guys tell me every single video, but if you did, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comment section um if you guys want to join my facebook group so you can be entered to win on the next account reviews video i will leave the facebook group description description link in the um <laughs> sorry the facebook group link in the description um and i'll also leave our advanced instagram training link in the description as well now when you join the facebook group you have to answer the questions i don't accept people who don't answer questions um again i with my facebook group i'm a lot more filtered with it youtube i can't really control who watches my videos but in the facebook group i I only want loyal people so you have to answer the questions or you just kind of sit there and we don't accept you um so with all that said guys once again hope you guys are all having a kick-ass day keep grinding keep hustling and i'll see you all on the next one